Well, new calls for change at a school that has been the center of controversy for months now. Parents, students, staff, they do a walk-in at McAuliffe International Middle School. They're simply raising awareness and concern over the possibility the school may lose its innovation status. Our Kelly Worthman covering the story for us tonight joins us now live outside of the school. And Kelly, first off, we want to ask you what exactly is a walk-in? It's a great question, Karen, and you know we've seen it time and time again with walkouts, right, where students and sometimes faculty will leave school for the day and not return. That, of course, is disruptive to a student's education, to say the least. So teachers here who wanted to make their voices heard, they came outside for a rally and then went back in to teach class. We come to call it. As the school day got underway at McAuliffe Middle School, teachers were joined by some students and families for a morning rally. We are here today because our staff and our innovation status is under attack. McAuliffe is an innovation school, meaning it has more autonomy in how it manages time, money, and academic programs for students. Many parents and educators see innovation status as a great benefit to kids as it gives them a different learning experience, something teachers like Logan Keeney want to protect. We desperately want to save what we have created because we truly believe in the extraordinary work we do here. Following months of investigation into de-escalation rooms at this school, which led to Principal Kurt Dennis's firing earlier this year, rumors are swirling the board plans to strip McAuliffe of its innovation status and let go of some educators. It's my understanding that the district is planning on firing multiple educators for doing things they were told to do by the district. The district hasn't commented on McAuliffe's future or its staff, but those on the rumored chopping block include interim principal Micah Claver. He is suspended, yes, and he is anticipating being fired this week. This is such an injustice. It just blows my mind. Claver's mother joined the morning protest, standing up against what she calls unfair and heartless actions by Denver Public Schools. The board needs to spend and the district needs to spend time supporting their teachers instead of investigating them. Now, we did ask the district about today's rally and received a single sentence statement that reads, Denver Public Schools supports the right of our staff and our students to protest in a safe and respectful manner, but we are disappointed that their protest impacted enrichment and zero hour time for their students. Now, the school board is expected to meet again this Thursday and we'll follow up on what happens there. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. All right, Kelly, thank you. We do have new developments.